okay so very good day to everybody once again this is image analysis and recognition okay and in this class we discuss about the basics about about the video data processing which is the last topic okay so in this class we'll discuss about the video processing problem setting and of course how what are the methods actually needed to solve them okay then we discuss about optical flow calculation the single object tracking multiple object tracking and of course the event detection methods okay so this is especially for you my dear students and young researchers and you can reach me at the at the rate of gmail.com so before beginning the session once again let me thank god for giving me this opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national international participants students and young researchers right so in this class we discuss we have a short introduction towards object tracking then we uh, explain about the application about the object detection and of course the trapping uh, tracking with the yolo version 7 viso suit okay so that we'll be discussing what are the uses what are the types of object tracking okay then we'll discuss about the visual tracking okay especially about the artificial intelligence vision uh, personal productive equipment detection and of course tracking in the energy and utility applications that we'll be discussing what are the background distractions that are actually taking place what are the multiple spatial scales what are single shot detectors what what is the importance of the image as well as feature pyramid representations okay then we discuss about occlusion okay then we discuss about mot multiple object tracking versus the general object detection okay then we compare the object detection algorithm with the typical object tracking algorithm okay so at regular intervals i'll be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in our topics right so of course in computer vision the object tracking is a very very important task okay and uh, even object trackers even we can be considered as a much more important integral part of several computer vision applications as well so maybe from the video live stream of the cameras you can actually go on for object trackers where you can visually locate the particular object okay so object tracking even in deep learning even it's a very important task where the object is going uh, where the program is going to take uh, maybe an initial set of object detection and maybe you can have a unique identification for each of the initial detection and then what it does it will be tracking the detected object as you move around in the video okay so you can say that object tracking you can actually automatically identifying the objects in a video for example if you take one video immediately it will classify okay so this is the object this is the human being this is the animal okay it will be categorizing okay and it will be interpreting them as a set of trajectories with higher accuracy even okay so there is an indication around the object being tracked okay for example there will be a surrounding square okay so that will be following the object whenever it moves it will be showing the square okay which means that the user is present where the object is present on the screen okay right so this is what you will have okay the application of the object direction and tracking with the case of yolo version 7 viso suit so if you can see the person it will be showing the distance as well so 0 0.92 0 0.92 0 0.90 how far it will go how far it, it is coming walking everything it is being categorized and that is uh, actually got from the software even okay. right for example here also there is bench also so there bench also it is categorized right and this is the object tracking especially with the open cv platform okay so that is how it will be having different lines uh, categorizing with respect to the crossing about the vehicles okay right so using object tracking will have several variety of use cases okay where you will be having different types of input footage even okay whether or not the anticipated input will be maybe a a picture or maybe image or maybe video or maybe real-time video or maybe pre-recorded video that will be impacting the algorithms about how you try to create the object tracking applications okay so it uh, what the type of input you will have that will be telling about the category about the use cases and about the applications about the object tracking okay so maybe you can utilize this object tracking especially in the video tracking applications visual tracking even with the case of image tracking also you can apply okay so maybe video tracking you can actually have the application about the object tracking where moving objects are located 
within the video information okay so video uh, tracking you can actually process the live real time footage also you can process the recorded video files even okay right so this is how you'll go with the video tracking applications the processes are going to execute the video tracking tasks okay that will be different okay from the type of the video input that is being targeted okay so maybe if you can see in this image the football okay so here one frame second frame third frame so everything it is being categorized okay so accordingly fourth one fifth one sixth one so here it will be putting one box and uh, for example here okay the uh, the red point will be designated accordingly okay so that it will be useful especially in the video analytics in the scene understanding especially for the security in in the case of governments when you deal with military okay transportation or maybe industries as well you can go with the several video tracking methods okay right and then you will go with the visual tracking or maybe visual target tracking okay so that is the very important topic especially in the computer vision okay you can use it apply it in the everyday scenarios okay so the major advantage or maybe major objective is to estimate the future position of the visual target that was actually initialized without the availability of the rest of the video okay and you can also go for image tracking as well okay you can detect the two dimensional images okay so the image is continuously tracked as they move in the setting okay so maybe the image tracking you can use it for data sets okay especially with the highly contrasting images maybe black and white or maybe asymmetrical images or maybe few patterns or maybe multiple identifiable differences as well between the image of interest and of course the other images in the image so image tracking it's major applied to this computer vision okay in order to detect and of course augment images okay after the image targets have been predetermined okay then we'll have object tracking camera also okay so that you can use it for real time video streams of basically any type of camera okay so here the video feed or maybe a usb camera or maybe an ip based camera you can use it for the object tracking okay that you can feed the individual frames to the tracking algorithm and you can actually perform the object tracking okay and you can also skip the frames as well or you can perform parallelized processing as well so that you can improve okay enhance the object tracking performance especially with the real time video feeds of one or maybe more multiple cameras okay so especially in the cctv camera that you can achieve so that will be having like different frames okay so this is the artificial intelligence vision personal protective equipment detection and of course tracking in the energy and utility application this is actually the close cut view okay so here it will be picturizing the helmet okay and the vest that it is wearing okay so similarly with regards to another human being as well okay. so it's a artificial intelligence based application where you can effectively perform the detection on the images as well okay but of course there are some challenges as well uh, like uh, training of course the tracking speed as well okay so here the algorithms especially for tracking these objects uh, not only accurately perform the detection okay uh, also localize the objects of interest as well and of course very small time they should be able to process it within like milliseconds microseconds it should be able to produce the output okay also the enhanced tracking speed even especially it, it will be useful for the real time object tracking models okay so here the algorithm will be used to create okay the object tracking model okay which is either customized or maybe chosen carefully even okay so for this one as i discussed like uh, uh, two classes before we can use fast r cnn based approach or maybe faster r cnn based approach to increase the speed about the common r cnn approach okay so you can use convolutional neural networks especially for object detection even convolutional neural network modifications are also there where you have to differentiate between the faster object tracking model and a slower object tracking model okay so it is all about the difference in the design choices that you will maintain the balance between the speed as well as the accuracy okay even background also you will have some problems you will have some distractions okay so here the backgrounds about the input image or the images that are used to train the object tracking model okay definitely it will be impacting the accuracy so for example background there are too much of distractions then we, which means that the accuracy will not be much higher okay 
so busy backgrounds of the objects meant to be tracked can make it much more harder okay for example you you told in that uh, video okay one small thing you cannot identify that is the problem because there is there is one tree there okay in front so it very it is very much difficult to identify a smaller picture about the leg about the human being so it's very much difficult even okay so that is you can call it as a busy background okay so maybe with a blurry or maybe single color background definitely it will be easier for the artificial intelligence based system to actually detect and of course track the objects even so this is these are the backgrounds which are too busy for example here if you can see background there is grass there is building there is car there is light okay there are too much busy okay so if they if they have the same color as the object okay or maybe it's too much cluttered it's diff difficult it's much more harder to track the results especially with the smaller object or maybe light color object okay so this is how it will be categorized okay. so <coughs> we'll also go with multiple spatial scales as well so the objects which are meant to be tracked definitely come in different sizes different dimensions and different aspect ratios even 9 is to 16 16 is to 9 okay so that it will be coming okay so ratios also can confuse the object tracking algorithms okay that what has to be scaled whether smaller or maybe larger according to the size okay so the size misconception or misunderstanding can negatively impact the detection or maybe detection speed as well okay and maybe you can use for feature maps anchor boxes image permits or maybe feature permits to actually scale these measures okay so maybe you can use anchor boxes also that is actually a compilation of bounding boxes definite height and width will be there so boxes definitely it's rather required to acquire the scale and of course aspect ratios so maybe they are based on the average object size of the objects okay so maybe it will be allowing several types of objects to be detected without the bounding box coordinates okay so that is generally followed during the localization and you can also have feature maps also that is actually the output image of the layer okay where you can use a, a convolution neural network to actually capture the result of applying the filters to that image okay so using feature maps you can have a better understanding about the feature that is being detected feature that is being extracted using a convolution neural network and then you'll have single shot detectors also so that you can use it for multiple scales you can detect object just by one pass through the convolution neural network okay so that you can go with the detection decrease okay for smaller images and smaller images can definitely lose signal maybe if you are going for down sampling of the image so the, for that cases you can go for convolutional neural network in order to train that particular network okay even like a uh, number of objects the same also down sampling if if it can occur okay convolutional neural network maybe was not able to identify okay which are the small images okay what are the sample size that will be associated so it will be difficult so these are the challenges of the single shot detectors so we can use uh, multiple feature maps as well in order to uh, allow the single shot detectors to actually look into objects especially for the convolutional neural uh, layers okay so generally with higher resolution images it will be much more difficult to actually detect using a single pass okay so single shot detectors of course it's not a very best option especially for the small object tracking because uh, smaller objects you cannot detect it very easy okay so um, even for tight groupings also it's much more difficult okay so that is uh, the reason even over drone uh, overhead drone shots of the group of the herd animals that will be much more difficult for example there is a block of cattle or maybe block of cow in a long shot they are taking the image it will be very much difficult to actually go for the single shot detector in order to identify the block of the cows or maybe cattle then we'll have image permit representation and feature permit representation so generally feature permits you can call it as a multi-level feature maps okay so based on the pyramidal structure okay so that it will be providing a solution for the object scale variation maybe when using the object tracking data so it, it will be like top down approach okay 
so maybe it's very much easier to actually direct the objects of various sizes okay so maybe you can use image permits or maybe feature permits as well that can prevent the scaling issues okay so here the feature permit maybe it is based on the multi-scale feature maps that will be requiring less computational energy than the image permit okay so here the image permits have resized versions of one input image and maybe it will be sent to the director for testing and then checking so this is how it goes okay so uh, the image okay it will be gone to the backbone okay of course to the feature permit network okay here we will have like waiting factors or maybe biases that are associated okay we have the attention weights here we will go with adaptive feature selection okay and then it will go with several convolution okay detection aid and finally to the heat maps size and then offset to the produce the output okay so this is actually feature permit execution framework okay it's a top down approach and of course we'll have occlusion okay occlusion definitely you can say blockage okay in the blood vessel it will be blocking okay so in deep learning similar only blocking only okay in artificial intelligence the tasks which are performed using deep learning okay where blocking some kinds of blocking occlusion can happen when multiple objects come very much close to each other okay so maybe it can cause the issues for the object tracking systems because occluded objects are seen as maybe one one object okay or maybe it can be incorrectly seen okay for example uh, uh, my hand is also like cream color if, if i'm showing like this okay so it will show like that the image is like like this one okay but instead it is not it is my hand okay so that it can misidentify okay so that is the misidentification of the smaller objects okay so it can be confusing and you can uh, feel much difficult to identify the initially tracked object as the new object okay for example if i'm showing a hand like this it will identify it as a maybe a different object okay right so that is how it goes so occlusion sensitivity <coughs> prevents this misidentification by allowing the user to identify <coughs> which parts of the image are must, most important and which parts of the image are least important okay so occlusion sensitivity is nothing but the measure about the network sensitivity to the occlusion in the different data regions maybe you can use the smaller subsets of the original data set to actually identify which is the original one and which is the misidentified one then we'll go with mot multiple object tracking so this is actually a problem especially in automatically identifying the multiple objects okay so maybe even if you consider a block of objects or maybe a group of objects you have to identify it with much more higher accuracy okay so that is how you are going to identify multiple objects in a similar background okay so here you can track more than one object in the digital images and you can also call it as the multi-target tracking okay because we are analyzing videos we are actually identifying the objects that belong to more than one predetermined class okay so it's a very most important topic especially in autonomous driving okay with without a driver okay where you have to identify okay there are some pedestrians which are crossing there is some uh, cat which is crossing there is some one vehicle crossing like this uh, light is very less so that also it will you should focus okay so that is how you'll go with multi-target tracking even okay you are going to detect and predict the behavior of the pedestrians and maybe other vehicles as well okay so maybe you will use the kitty tracking test okay especially uh, for the computer vision okay so here you'll be having several image data sets okay and you can use it especially in the autonomous self-driving cars even okay. So in 2022, the best performing multiple object tracking algorithms are DIFT, D-E-F-T, okay. So it has 88.95 MOTA, that's a, a MOT, multiple object tracking algorithms, okay. So it uh, also center track is also there, SRK, Odessa is also there. So these are nothing but the best performing tracking algorithms, okay. Then we compare multiple object tracking versus general object detection, okay. So object detection means you are going to provide a collection of bounding boxes. That's our output. Okay. But multiple object tracking, okay, it has little to no prior training. 
but of course it will be providing the best performance okay with regards to height with coordinates and even parameters even okay the bounding boxes will be there okay but definitely multiple object tracking we can identify which are the objects which are present okay so general object detection if you compare multiple object tracking you can go with identification you can go for detection of several objects okay so more algorithms additionally have a target id okay for example here if you can see this is the input frame raw image we will have pedestrians several pedestrians so here you will be categorizing okay you'll go with the detection okay and here in the mode algorithms okay multiple object tracking algorithms will be having a id that is associated okay so the target id you can use it for detection you can distinguish among several objects this is a human being this is an animal this is a cat this is a elephant this is a bench so it will be categorizing okay so instead of identifying all cars in a photo here multiple cars are present as just car and using mot algorithm you can actually identify which is which okay you can identify general detection it will identify this is object this is object this is object this is object that's all but mod algorithm will say this is a bottle this is a laptop this is a projector this is a mobile this is my specs case so that you will be identifying so it will be having a label that is associated okay so this is the typical object detection algorithm versus the typical object tracking algorithm this is detection one 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 but here this is one this is two this is three so every color it will be identifying so this is the typical object tracking algorithm advantage